camera in hand and show you what I've done here, but I don't have the battery in the camera, so I have to leave it up on a tripod. Okay, uh, I'm going to start this out, the camera in hand. I want to show you what's going on here. Uh, I made these spar blocks, and each one of these spar blocks has a mark on it right here, and it lines up with the center line of the spar. You can see it right there. And these are standoffs that I made to hold the spar at the equal distance all the way from the trailing edge until uh, until we get it laid up. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this, this is after the footage has been shot, is I didn't have the battery on the camera. But uh, I'll go ahead and try to insert this where it belongs. So here is the footage of what we have done as far as the uh, spar goes and uh, I think it's going to work fine. We have to figure out where we want our trailing edge or leading edge. So the first thing I'm going to do is sight down this make sure it's straight and it's, it is. I want to clean the end off here. all good tight joints so I'm just going to approximate I mean, where these uh, blocks go and we're going to set set these blocks on the leading edge and they're going to be approximately where the uh, trailing edge blocks are it's it's not too critical leading edge piece in here and we need to get the distances correct. Well seeing as that I'm building this off of a uh, off of a fixture that's already laid out I can do some measurements off of this and we can see that the um, center rib or root rib Four and a quarter. So it's going to be four inches to the inside diameter at the uh, the inside. So we, what do we got here for? Ten inches. So that's correct. Now <clears throat> I want to make sure that that cut line is right on the center line here. didn't draw the line out far enough but we'll just extend it out <clears throat> that's not a critical thing okay I get this laid out. Now this, if you have 
a Tom Morris jig. Come on. I need some thick CA. If you have a Tom Morris jig, you wouldn't need to do this. You just measure it up and and bolt her down. But I don't have that jig, so. So we have to make do. All right. Now let's uh, measure the tip. Tip rib is seven and a half. glue this one down. So far I have about an hour and a half in building this wing. Not true. I have about two and a half hours building this wing, including the spar from last night. So now we need to uh, set up for this, for the uh, leading edge on the other side, and because I don't have room I'm going to have to cut off part of the spar. Well, cut that much off. And that's only because I don't have the room. And now we'll approximate uh, here again. Where these go. Like I said, this does not have to be right on this, you know, there's no, it offers no particular reason to get these, the only thing that these blocks do is hold the leading edge parallel to the bench top. It doesn't matter unless you got really warped wood. We need a clean edge on there. So, let me, uh... So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tack the leading edge together. I just attack. And then come to the end here and measure seven and a half. And then tack the blocks down.
pretty good way of doing things. I, you know, I never built a beam wing out of the airplane. Let's get the uh, ruler and make sure that is straight. Too much junk on this bench. I'll attack this one down. There you have it. That's our wing. Now all we have to do is start putting ribs in. And there is a buttload of them. <laughs> now, I stated in the other video about the tang on the leading edge. You want to cut this tang off flat. So that it looks like, what happened to my knife now? Now we can get a razor blade. We want to cut a sixteenth of an inch off. It has to look flat like that. Otherwise, the wing lays up goofy. You have to do the same to the tail. So, here's my knife. Now we're going to cut the tail. That's it, and then just as I've shown in my other movies, just go right on down the line and, and fit all these ribs in. Then we'll bust it off the jig and
that I said I was going to run this tape to see how long it's going to take. But this doesn't seem like it. It would be very interesting to watch. So I'm going to cut the tape you know things are always changing I got a couple couple hours of footage uh, you know that I could put up for the first I want to get one video up every day uh, that'll give me 365 videos a year unless I do some short ones uh, kind of fell down on this when I first started my YouTube channel it's only been in existence a little over a year but I only have 235, I think, films. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't pay much attention to is YouTube a, val you know, a valid uh, platform? But it looks like it is because I don't type real well. And, uh, you know, I can, I can talk better than I can type. So maybe, you know, maybe this helps, and, and it seems it seems like everybody likes it, so I'll keep doing it. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera, and uh, I'll go ahead and edit this video up. And the rest of what I'm doing here is just inserting ribs. So there's not much to see because it will take some time to get these in but we got about two and a half hours in it now including uh, making the spar making the leading and trailing edges making the jig block you know getting the jig blocks ready and so it's not a big deal so it's a good way to do things we'll see what it turns out like so we'll see you on the next reel be sure to like subscribe Share this with your friends, and uh, fair winds, tight lines, let's have a great 2016. See ya!